you the whole thing again. So really interrupt. All right. So the circle. Right? You knew that circle of sides. It's not a circle. Okay? It's actually a square and triangle. Four triangles are a square. Okay? We're in a square, shoulder to shoulder. Okay? We'll bite that into four triangles. Make sense? Right. The central line from the middle. That's literally what's happening here. So we do that square the pot exercise in a very basic way. Okay? What's actually happening is you're attacking my central line. Attack my center line. I sit back. I change position on my elbow. Or I rotate the contact point, and then I immediately count with my hip. So once I get out and tell my hip, I'm immediately using that to count with that. Once I'm attacking, so there's three, three. Right? Once I'm attacking you, you forward, stay connected. Upon muscle contact, chase the center. It's a little to chase your spine. I'm looking to grab your spine and rip it out of you. Okay. So you punch. See, I'm here, but look where I'm going. So I'm already coming in. Right? I want to go in, but stay grinding, connected to me. Okay? If somehow I lose contact, you push me up, I lose contact, I immediately chase the center again. Because it, it, it has a lot of people like holding me. You're dealing with this, you get me out. I immediately want to come back in while your brain is still thinking about going out. You know what I'm I also don't want to disconnect. But however, let's just say I'm here, and then you compromise my sense, you hit me, and oh shit. The only thing I can do is take the target away, and I use my elbow by changing the elbow position, and then count it with your waist. Once I do that third count with the waist, I'm immediately going to move forward, stay connected wherever I touch, and chase the center. Upon loss of contact, right? Chase the center. Make sense? Okay. So that's like the most important rules. Okay? So now we're doing this, we're doing this circle. What you really should be thinking is, on your attack phase, your entire body weight is being projected to my spine. Right? If you have a knife, you're sticking with a knife. You're gonna go right through me. I say, holy shit, he has a knife. I better get the target away and use my shield and now immediately count it before he cuts me. You see what I'm saying? The best way to understand, in my opinion, pushing is to imagine that someone has a razor blade in their hand the whole time. Okay? So we're rolling, you have two ways to try cutting. Like fuck that. Cut come on. See fuck that. I'm cutting. Yeah. Right? But I can't just sit here and just keep playing this game. Yeah. So what do I do? Oh. So once you come in, I immediately, once I counted, I chase the center. See what I'm saying? If you somehow block this, right? Upon loss of contact, I'm gonna chase the center. Make sense? Yeah. And that set of rules is where I get all the techniques from. By doing that to become the force of habit. You almost score like, like look up. See, see, right here. Right? Even when you see me scoring like half a like that, I'm using the same theory. Because you do that first kick, I connect to it, and I stay. I don't want to give you the time. When we're playing this game, you throw a kick, you know, like, I go like this, and then we're back and forth. I don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? You come at me, broken, 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 broken. Okay? I want to go in. Because I have a better, I have better odds of attacking you while you're attacking me than giving you this time. Okay. Okay. So, first roll. I want to feel you press my center. Use force first. Use force to understand no force. I've been saying this for years already. Right? You got in order to get like push hard. You need to do this, all this fine jing and, and song and all this crazy like you know tai chi shit. Yeah. The reason I can do that is because I've gone to meetups and took challenges in the street where people are trying to throw me, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I let them try yeah. over and over and over again. If I didn't feel real force, don't come at me hard. If I didn't feel this and get comfortable understanding the force and me trying to deal with it, how can I understand no force? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need force. You can see people doing the form. Oh. It's all internal. <laughs> if it's all internal, why are you doing the form? Why am I doing all these moves and all this fancy stuff in the air if it's internal? Should I just sit there like this and become like a ninja master and never have to and beat everybody? <laughs> if it's all internal, I should just stand still and oh, and I can fight. You know, I can beat my Tyson because I just. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's stupid. It's, it's gibberish. Okay? It's external. And then what happens is, internal does not mean not physical. It means efficient. Yeah, yeah. 
It means hyper efficiency, right? So when you're doing this roll, okay, good fam, and we're doing this big roll, come at me, all right? Now I can do it here, come on, hard. So what I'm I can get all that work done right here. So what I'm It's efficiency. To the point where I can do it, it doesn't look like I move. Okay? Yeah. Probably on the, on the video, that last thing probably looks like I didn't really move. It looks like bullshit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? Problem is that the people who see people do things like this, and they say, oh, and then they fake it. They actually will fake it when the fucking guy's gonna jump for them, or there's some psychosomatic thing going on. But you have to understand how that principle comes, comes from understanding outside the inside. Okay? Everything's external first. Without the cup, you can't use the emptiness. Make a good cup, it doesn't crack, and then you can start to use the emptiness inside, fill whatever you want. Okay? So now, using those principles, repeat, okay? So you're attacking, what you have to do? Go forward, right? Stay connected. Upon loss of contact, what do you do? Chase the center. So you see how you mean it? Let's go back. Because when you've been following these fucking idiots, they sport for sport. If I break you out here, I'm going to stab you. You don't have time to recover. Okay? You don't have time for a judge or a wing guy to say, oh, break it up. Or if you choke down, he's going to like get him off you. You don't have time for that shit. If I lose contact on the attack, you better chase the fucking center. Come right in. Go. Right, right in. Whatever it is. If you can't come right in and your center's compromised, then you know you're going to hit. Wherever the target's coming, take the target away. Sit back and target away. Use the elbow and now counter with the waist. So from right there, you just move your whole waist. It could be turning the waist into the axis, moving the whole waist forward. You counter with the waist. Does that make sense? I don't care if it's taekwondo, karate, boxing. This is the same theory everywhere. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? So let's just say I'm here, you throw me around, and then you pull, I go this way, you pull me out. What's your next move? You're going to stab me, you're going to do something bad. So I have two options. One is immediately come to the middle and attack you. Right? Or if I know I'm way, you, I have to take the target away, use my elbow, and then counter. Right? At no point is there time for me to be disconnected or for me to be running away. If you have a knife and you come at me and stab me and I go like this and I run away, what are you going to do? You're going to just come in like, you're going to keep coming in. Yeah. Right? So, you know, Salo Nim style, he says, cut you here, cut you here, no sweat, kill him. That, you know, because you throw that thing, I'll just break it and then smash your fucking head. Yeah. As hard as I can. Because cut me here, cut me here, no sweat, kill him. <laughs> right? That, yeah. Right? So, the concept's still the same. Right? You're attacking me, I'm taking the target away, I'm using my elbow, I'm attacking with the hip. The theory's the same. Does this make sense? Yeah. Right? In my attack phase, right? I move forward, straight to the spine. Once I hit you, I stay connected. So let's just say, you know, for, throw it around here. Right? So I thought you could throw the other one. I got caught. But you see how I still got it, right? No, come on. Choke. Notice how I stay connected. Yeah. So this is this is Korean karate now, right? It's not Tai Chi. The way I was taught the same shit. You throw anything, I block it and I stay in. See what I'm saying? So I stay connected and I chase the center. If I throw a punch and I lose contact, what do I do? Chase the fucking thing. Right? So, we're sparring over here right now. Right? This is what you see when we're sparring. You know, okay, I throw a lot, and then I do this. You come at me, I come at you, I come at you. See what I'm saying? That's, that's the karate that we learn. Right? It's, it's <laughs> we're going through. Tai Chi is the same thing. It's the same thing, but it's the same thing in trapping you, where nobody wants to play. Because when we're here, and we're, we're elbows, and everything's reachable, nobody likes to stay here. You have two types of fighters. You have the outside guy, and the inside guy. You don't have people that want to hang out right here. The t like, literally, we would go in the school yard and go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and we would literally put our toe-to-toe, -to -toe and we start banging it out. That's just how we did in the 90s. Like, you know, we literally go, and then you have everybody around now in high school, like, that's the thing. And you literally go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, literally, and we bang it out. Who wants to do that? Who wants to sit there and trade shots with somebody and get lumped up? Right? So Tai Chi's supposed to be training that. Where you throw a punch, and now I'm in this range. Now I'm very comfortable here. See what I'm saying? 
So how do we use those six concepts, that protocol, to make this efficient, okay. right? So starting with the stir the soup, right? Stir the soup. What's actually happening? See, the outside. So upon loss of contact, this is a loss of energetic contact. You went that way, right? I'm going to chase the center, but you should chase the center first. See what I'm saying? You feel you're disconnected. You, you feel my spine? You don't. You don't feel my spine, do you? So what should you do? Chase the center. Come in, chase the center. Right to my spine. Right? When you're attacking my spine, I'm saying, oh, shit, I get stabbed. Let me take the target away. Let me use my elbow and counter with the waist immediately. Okay? Tai Chi is very vicious. Okay? So you come at me, you go stab me. I'm just going to break this and then immediately stab you. The problem with Wing Chun and Tai Chi, and if you watch these guys and they fight, Tai Chi and Wing Chun is not meant to fight and punch people in the face. Yeah. Wing Chun, the Taekwondo, originally when we were talking about Taekwondo, right, we're going to hit you in the throat. Yeah. And, and you're drilling, punching in the throat, not punching in the face. So this, this stuff doesn't work in a ring. And it doesn't work for people who aren't willing to tear someone's throat out of their body. You know what I mean? You can't do that because someone's messing through the bar. But I fucking guarantee you, if so, if I want my girl who wants to rob me, I'll tear his fucking throat out and feed it to him. I'm gonna fuck. With no 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 reservation. You know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to hurt me and my family, I'm gonna, I'll fuck you, I'll fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Straight up, real talk. Don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? So you look at the form, right? Every way you move in this form, there's fingertips in the eyes, fingertips in the throat. Look at Ron's style, right? Sudabaki. Sudabaki's on a block. Right? Remember I told you in, in classical karate, blocks are strikes, strikes are blocks. Yeah. So you throw a punch, I can punch you in the punch. So then, if you throw a punch and I'm too close, I can hit you with the knife hand block. Yeah. So then, that's the angles. So you throw a hook punch, I'm angled off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your eyes are out. <laughs> the problem is who's gonna do that? Who's actually willing in a social violent situation to tear your eye out of your head. Nobody. Nobody. You go to like Philippines, these guys are yeah, like, they're like, yeah, exactly. they're yeah. demented. They'll, they don't give a shit. Yeah. Right? They don't care. Yeah. So it's a cultural thing. You have social and social violence. So if you're training the style, even like, look, Muay Thai they had the original Muay Thai or other styles that were war styles, and then you have Muay Thai, which is a sport. It's still effective on the street. But would you compare that to the original style? Hell no. Hell no. There's no competition. Like the old guys, even from 20 years ago, they'll destroy all the new guys. Look at the videos. Look at, look at money, right? Because it's a social thing. You get into a fight now, most of the social. Even with most of the robberies that happen on the train and stuff, there's still social violence. Most of these guys don't want to kill you, and you know it. Yeah. You feel it, so it's just like you can't do shit. Just listen, you know? They'll punch you in the face, you know, they'll fuck you, whatever, and they, that's the kind of shit you see on the train, right? It's not often in a city that you see asocial violent robberies, right? Most of the time, I'm gonna say when you have most of the time they pull a gun and they rob you, they just wanna get your shit and run, right? Give them the shit. But if you know that that's not the case, yeah. you're dead anyway. Okay. <laughs> go in. You, go, you go in, right? You go in hard, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that, that's the difference. So, you're looking at guys who trained this style hundred, a couple of years ago, a thousand years ago. There was no police in ancient China who if you got if, if someone's gonna rob your village, there's no fucking cops. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's very likely that they would kill you and rape your life. So if you get in a situation, you gotta go hard. <laughs> this isn't a game. So when you look at the forms and I do this now, where am I really doing? Right? So the idea why they they say the Tai Chi should be able to be used by an old man to defend like a young opponent is because of where and how they're striking. The, 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 the protocol, how they the protocol, and the targets they're selecting. And it's a reflex. And the reflex comes from social concepts. Of they're doing this form, the old guys, they're thinking, I'm carrying out your eye. Okay? And they're doing this 800 times in the form. Okay? Like, when they 
they do like a rollback, you throw a punch, it's not this. You throw a punch, it's bang, right? And you feel that, it just tapped you, it's like, how's that feel? It feels fucked up, it's not good, right? So it's like, fine, it's, it's, it's not good. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing good that's happening there. But this is how they trained it a hundred years ago when they had no choice, where if you have a school you know, in the yard, they would fight the turf. The Chinese masses, a hundred years ago, if you had a school in a park, and someone could, you know, they're trying to get a school, they would challenge you. If you lose, you get kicked out of your park. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, the idea behind the form, and I was when doing the other form, right? I'm trying to explain to you the military style of, of Taekwondo, which is Korean Karate, does not look, we don't exist anymore, yeah. right? Because who the fuck is gonna do, like, fight and, and punch someone in the throat? No one's gonna think like that. You know what I'm saying? So these styles don't work. You know Understanding these social limits, you have to train these techniques as an instinctual reflex for it to work, and it has to be understood constantly in the context so that it's triggered by the, by, by the situation, right? It has to be a reflex when you come out. I mean, oh shit. It has to be, the way you should say the, the judge oh shit technique, yeah. right? Like the, oh shit. That flinch response has to be vicious and it has to be an accident so you don't have a moral compass in mind. You're not thinking about it. This guy pulls a knife on me, I see the knife, oh shit. You have no odds, yeah. right? If you have to be in a, a one on one, okay, we're gonna do this. Why don't you set this up like psychologically? You're in a social violence situation. You're subconscious, like, I don't want to hurt her. I get the, the, the thing that goes on, right? It, you can't train like that. You have to train so that it's automatic, that it's an accident, right? That he went too hard, and the response was, oh, I just cracked this fucking sternum, okay? Otherwise, it's not as a lot. See what I'm saying? Okay, that's Taekwondo, Karate, Muay Thai. It doesn't matter, right? The other side? So do the super soup again. So basic trips, right? You felt me attack your center. You take the target away, I have a knife in my hand. Take the target away, then change the elbow, and now count it with the waist. You see? Doesn't matter what you do, okay? As you count with the waist, you have a knife in your hand. The best way to understand is we're thinking about projections of, of vector, of potential energy, and like throwing energy, right? Like weight, right? So the best way to understand is you have a knife in your hand. It's protruding out. I gotta take this away, make space. I gotta change my elbow to make a shield on a rotating ball axis, and then immediately I have to count it. I go forward, right? I stay connected, right? And I chase the center. Apply a loss of contact, I chase the center, right? If my center becomes compromised, what do I do? I go back to the defense protocol. You come at me, I sit and take the target away. Use my elbow and count with the waist. See what I'm saying? So when you're seeing all these rolling drills, these are drills that every single step is one instance of someone's death. Okay? Does it make sense? Yeah. So this circle is a square, I'm gonna review, okay? You lost contact. If you don't chase the center, you're dead. That's Tai Chi. See what I'm saying? If you don't chase the center, you've lost contact with my spine. So you see what I'm saying? It's not my hand we're worried about. Yeah. You're worried about me. Yeah. Right? It's not the weapon of dangerous. It's the operator. You gotta turn me off. So if I'm over here, you're not connected to me. See what I'm saying? So if you don't connect to me, what do you do? Chase the center. If your center becomes compromised, what you do is perfect. You see? You felt the target, you take the target away, you use the elbow now immediately counter and take my spine. That's the real essence of the stir of the pot. But if you see it from the outside, like, oh, <laughs> you don't see that. So they'll take you, oh, it takes 20 years to work. <laughs> Do you think in ancient China, or even like 100 years ago, they had 20 years to waste? These are guys, they, they didn't play, they didn't have time for that shit. How does it take 10 years to learn? Oh, it takes 10 years to learn to be able just to touch the cheese. Get the fuck out of here. Just to stop. We don't got time for that, right? Two years, you should be able to defend yourself against the average jerk off of no training. If you can't do that, right? I've got somebody bigger than you with no training. If after two years, I don't care if you're 90 years old and you can't hurt somebody who has no training, you're out of your mind. 
right? <coughs> so, okay, so what happened? We're going to extend the line. Right, so the idea is that this is constant. See, right now we feel like that, that's the point where my attack phase ended, and now you're into attack mode. You have a knife, something protruding, so I have to think of the projection of the potential before it gets there, right? And the reason this is good because you start to, like you can't even take it, you throw a punch. I don't want to wait for the punch to hit. I want to get a sense of the punch before it reaches me, you know? See, I'm already feeling that punch before it's there. See what I'm saying? So I want to feel the punch here, not here, okay? <laughs> Make sense? This is too late. So the idea is always train as if there's a blade in the hand, right? Make sense? So I'm trying to cut you, take the target away. You see, instantaneously you have an idea of what's going on, right? You have a knife. How are you gonna stick it? See, oh fuck that. <laughs> See? So now we're here. And you're in a bad spot. I don't have to stick you. First things first, what should you do? Take the target away. Move your spine, take the target away, use the elbow, and then count it with the waist. See what I'm saying? This works everywhere. Constant. Right? Okay? So I have a knife, I come at you, take the target away, use the elbow, and leave the counter. Sense? So we can be using two hands and we do like this. So we're going to do last time, right? See? I have. So what do you do? Take the target away, take the target away, right? Then use the elbow. Then use the waist. The protocol is very specific for a reason. You're attacking me, I take the target away, make space for the target. It doesn't mean I have to go backwards. It's just the easiest example to understand. If I'm holding my ground, I have nowhere to go, right? I'll shrink up and take the target away. If you go stab me in the leg, I'll take the target away. If you go stab me in the face, I'll take the target away. If you stab me in the shoulder, I'll take the target away. Does it mean I'm running away? I can take the target away by sidestepping, right? But train the worst position first. I have nowhere to run, right? I have another protocol to increase my arm. So I'm already here, you're gonna stab me. I see that, oh shit, take the target away, use my elbow to attack with the waist. Attacking with the waist means to throw something at you from my head. 